Welcome to How Does That Coin Operated Phonograph Work, where today we'll explore the Edison H coin slot phonograph. In 1896, Thomas Edison introduced the Edison Home Spring Motor Phonograph. The Edison Home was smaller and a less expensive alternative to the Edison Spring Motor Phonograph. In 1898, Edison introduced his first spring motor coin slot phonograph, the H, based on the Edison Home Spring Motor Phonograph. The H coin slot phonograph was originally equipped with a slanted carriage, rubber tube connection to the horn, and a string return mechanism. Later iterations of the H coin slot phonograph would use a horizontal carriage, a metal tube connection to the horn, and a chain drive return mechanism. In 1900, Edison introduced the Bijou and Excelsior coin-operated phonographs and officially retired the H coin slot phonograph. The H coin slot phonograph was introduced at a price of $50. The handsome oak case is adorned with egg and dart molding and carvings on the signboard. To open the curved glass lid, the front drop-down door must first be unlocked and opened. Then the lid latch pulled forward horn removed, and the curved glass lid opened. The lid is held open by a cast iron support. The mandrel is made of gutta percha, an early form of plastic, and covered in cork to prevent cylinders from cracking due to expansion. Tune selection is announced by a changeable paper insert with an assign board atop the phonograph. The coin action used in the H coin slot consists of coin operated parts added both on the upper mechanism and to the motor castings of the Edison H motor. Operating instructions are displayed held by a clip under the curved glass lid. Unlike later Edison spring motor coin operated phonographs, the crank does not have a slip clutch. The H coin slot uses a winding stop to prevent the patron from overwinding the machine. The crank is secured within the case with a latch, riding in a groove in the shaft on the crank. Coins are collected in a wooden drawer, accessible behind the locked drop-down front door. The carriage is returned by the action of a string attached to the carriage and an intricate slip clutch pulley below the bed plate. The return is activated by a movable rod with two adjustable stops engaged by the carriage. The reproducer is an Edison automatic speaker, spring-loaded, specifically modified for coin operation. Sound is transferred externally through a rubber tube. A 14-inch funnel horn is mated to an elbow that allows the horn to pivot. It all starts with the drop of a nickel in the coin slot of the Edison H coin slot phonograph.
Thank you for watching this episode of How Does That Coin-Operated Phonograph Work?